All right, guys, our goal for today is to get you two quick tips. Hopefully in under two minutes, we'll see how we do. We won't uh, have a timer or anything. First is how to create reports out from SDS2 out to Excel are easily editable. And the second is how to use the at command to use your to make your distance inputs faster and more convenient. And here we go. All right, one of the most requested things on the SDS2 forums and from users in general is how do I get a report from SDS2 into Excel? All right, Matt, first off, most important thing, how do we find the tool? Okay, so if you look for this, you're not going to actually find it anywhere on your uh, drop down. So you need to get it into your toolbar configuration. So we're going to load that up. Now, I've already got it, but I'm going to show you where you've located it. It's under the command group reports. And then you're going to pick up Excel reports, and I've slapped that up here on my toolbar. So once you've done that, you'll click OK, and you'll save it. And then once that's settled in, you'll run the Excel reports. And then you can pick from a dropdown any of the reports that already come with SDS. So let's say I want a field bolt summary. This was our particular use case, is we needed a field bolt yep. summary. And you'll set yourself a location, which I'm just going to leave it at the default for now. Uh, but this gives you the opportunity to tweak things like the page layout if you want to give it a different header if you want to do footers you could kind of scroll through all this but for our use we didn't have to touch any of it so once we set the location for the file and the actual report type we were just able to hit okay so i'm just going to create excel report that's going to run and there it is now, as soon as i click okay i'm going to lose this but just so you can see it is there and i've got an excel report all dumped out now. I don't just have that ASCII text file that's fine enough to look at, but pretty useless when it comes to actually automatically inputting into something else. And this works for a whole different range of reports. You saw the list there. Can you bring that list up again? Sure. So these are all of the system reports. Yeah. One of the so nice things. If you is have a different report that you want to use, you can also browse. And you can set it up to look for other specific reports. All right. The next thing that is something that was buried in one of our videos, I want to bring it out of that. Uh, it's the at feature. And let's take a moment quick and demonstrate that. So let's say right now I've got a, a length and an angle. So if I wanted to be at eight feet at 45, I could type eight foot zero at 45. And that's where my pointer goes. Now, all I have to do is hit enter. And I get that point or that that line. Yeah, that, that's a great tool. A lot of times it, it is that at 45 or it's one of those polar angles. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's at, you know, 17 and a quarter degrees or something like that. And you don't want to go back through, create the construction lines and do online, that whole thing. That at command is super handy to have around. All right. That was two quick tips. I hope that we can get it down to under two minutes of video. That's it for today. We hope to see you back here on the steel form.